and welcome back to the channel. So I hope everyone is having a fun and safe New Year celebration. I know I am. So we're going to go ahead and continue with the collective readings. This will be for all signs. That means it may or may not resonate with your personal situation. But if it does, take what resonates. If it does not, leave the rest for those that it applies in their situation. All right. So the energy we start out with is the Three of Wands in the inverse. This represents something not turning out as expected. Um, so that's interesting to start out with, but what's right after that is the Queen of Cups, which represents someone who's very balanced in their emotions, they're nurturing, caring, probably empathic or psychic. Um, but that's interesting, probably this Queen of Cups energy, something didn't turn out the way they expected. Look what comes after that. Well, they had to call judgment on it. This is a major arcana. Um, and right after that, I'm going to read these two together. Something they had to call judgment on because something in the world was not upright. So this is the world in the inverse that comes out right after the judgment. This represents something that's not going anywhere. It's stuck, it's stagnant, it's just stale, it's not going anywhere. That's why they had to call judgment on it. Well, par for the course, the next energy that comes out is the Ten of, uh, Ten of Cups in the inverse. This represents not a wish fulfillment. So you've got mom to dad, the house, the kids, the dog. This would be an ultimate wish fulfillment, but it's in the inverse. But right after that, we've got the tower in the inverse. That could mean that something is moving forward. Somebody's letting something go with the flow, but I'm not reading it that way. I'm reading it that somebody is trying to avoid a tower, meaning they're trying to avoid an uh, unstable situation, uh, unstable foundation from crumbling. They're trying to avoid some you know, stressful news, some shocking news. They're trying to avoid it. And the reason why I'm reading it that way is because of the Page of Pentacles. This represents some type of a bad investment. Coupled right after that, the energy is the Seven of Cups in the upright. This represents illusions. So that's why I'm reading this energy. Somebody's trying to avoid a tower. Something wasn't a wish fulfillment. It's a bad investment. They were casting illusions. Well, we know who now. The next energy that came out is the Four of Pentacles in the inverse. The Four of Pentacles in the inverse represents like a Midas miser. Someone who's very inflexible, someone who's probably reckless financially, and just unflinching, which is par for the course for the next energy that came out here. The hangman in reverse keeps coming out, guys. This represents someone who does not want to see things from a different perspective. And again, notice how this comes out right after, right below the tower in the reverse. This is who this energy is. Somebody is trying to avoid a tower dealing with this Queen of Cups situation. They think they know it all. They don't need to learn anything. Um, you know, I, I have all the answers. So they don't want to look at things from a different perspective. Well, their energy was also a Seven of Pentacles in the inverse. This also kept coming out in our reading. Seven of Pentacles in the inverse represents some type of a frustrated action. They have no patience. They, they want it and they want it now, whatever that was. So in the outcome, interestingly enough, the outcome is a King of Swords which is someone that's very smart with their communication, someone who knows how to, you know, uh, use their words in the upright, use it in the right way, who is very just, but I'm not reading it that way either. I'm reading it as a negative energy. Um, we also had a King of Cups in the inverse come out. Um, this represents someone who uses words and communication in a negative way. They're very cruel and manipulate with their words. This is how I'm reading this. And the reason why is again, the world in the inverse and casting illusions. You would not have a King in the upright casting illusions. That's why I'm reading this as the King of Swords in the inverse. So I asked for a clarifier. First clarifier is the Seven of Swords in the inverse. Again, this represents lies coming out. Par for the course, again, for the Seven of Cups casting illusions, there were lies. This person's a liar. So the last clarifier that I actually got here was the Eight of Cups. This keeps coming out. Collective, you are in the energy of moving on. The Eight of Cups energy represents moving on from some emotional situation. I love this energy for us. We're moving on. We don't care what's going on. We are moving on. So I like that energy. So let's go ahead and get a, a tarot from our dreams of Gaia so we can go ahead and get some advice in this situation. All right, card one. All right, let's go ahead and read that here. All right, so it represents new beginnings, innocence, magic, divine love, trust, hope, forgiveness, awareness, potential, anticipation, and dependency. Q 
key phrases are a new beginning, see your potential, heal emotional and psychological wounds, time to play and laugh, acknowledge your successes, delight in the moment, believe in magic, laughter heals, turn dreams into reality, forgive the past, reconnect with innocent pleasures, and put doubt aside. I know that's right. This is perfect for this Queen of Cups energy who is moving on. So again, let's go ahead and get an oracle from our Divine Nature Oracle and we'll wrap up this reading. Share your bounty, card three, all right. Let's read that here. All right, it's time to share your creations, your blessings, talents, and skills. You've cultivated them long enough, and now they lay in your lap like harvested bounty. Whatever situation you are facing now, trust what you have cultivated. This is not a time to hide your light under modesty or question the value of your contribution. Share, reveal, offer. Let the inspiration you have received throughout your life reveal to you that someone out there is waiting for your turn as a muse. When you share your particular genius, you join the necessary reciprocity of creation. That's beautiful. Another great sage advice for this Queen of Cups energy. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this read. I do offer personal readings. The information for that is down below in the comment box. You can reach out to me. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye-bye.